thanks for coming here. Can you please introduce yourself to the audience and your company? Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so yes, my name is Louis Bellet. I'm the CEO and uh, founder of a company called Yellow. And uh, this is uh, 120 employees uh, around the world. We are a web-free company specialized in fintech. And um, what, how did you get into the crypto space? Can you tell us a little bit about your personal background? Uh, so I'm a career engineer and entrepreneur. So I've always been doing, I would say, the tech side from a startup. And so in our um, companies, we were always on the edge of the new coming technology. So for example, there was a time for cloud computing. So we were in it. There, were, there is a time for big data. So we were in it. And now I would say it's uh, crypto. So I would say in the business of IT, we, we, we sell innovation, you know. So we have to stay on the top and always uh, jump on the first innovation that comes in. Jack, can you just uh, tell us a little bit about what Yellow is and what problem you're here to solve? So uh, Yellow is uh, historically um, a market maker, started in 2013. Um, this is also the merge of another French company called Openware, um, which is uh, building fintech product and technologies there. And so the, the merge of this company has a specific purpose, is to federate uh, and modernize the entire practice of uh, trading business around the world in crypto. So, you know, the trading as people may think in the wrong way, but it's very immature in crypto. It's, uh, it's, it's not well protected, not well structured, and in terms of IT infrastructure, it's also very weak compared to the state of global markets in uh, traditional finance. Um, and so with Yellow, we're launching a decentralized economy with a token um, that is doing a clearing house. So we bring in good practice from um, traditional finance and modernizing and so we call that a smart clearing house because it's not a company it's a smart contract uh, and so this way we are able to connect every market maker trading firms around the globe exchanges and start building brokers which does not exist in uh, in trading business this day and so what we would call a broker like in traditional finance is a local business uh, uh, complying to local regulation so they can protect better the consumer um, and you know access to the local uh, law and authorities so that's that's a good thing that should happen in, yeah, in absolutely. crypto. Absolutely so you actually you know you're helping uh, companies and basically you're protecting companies both companies and people you're protecting both sides you're very focused on KYC and uh, making sure there's no bad actors in the space and uh, the things are done according to the regulations right so uh, the subject that comes up a lot right now is actual regulations so what do you see how do you see I mean I know like when the downturns and people are freaking out but um, like it's again where it's 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 just the early stage industry and uh, it's up and down in the markets um, obviously happens what's your view of the current situation of the crypto where we are right now and what do you think about the regulation of what needs to be done from that perspective so the crypto is the innovative technology and about regulation nothing has to be done it's already there for many years uh, the crypto industry has to realize that that they are the little one and they have to comply to the regulation not the other way around um, the, the architecture of current exchange is just wrong um, regulating DeFi is impossible it's never gonna happen um, so there is a unregulated space which is fine but it must be kept B2B um, this is useful, for example, for financial infrastructure, for the professional of crypto. So you can think of, you know, DeFi as the backbone of the Internet of Finance. And it's going to be used by, you know, ISP or, you know, brokers that will give you access to the consumer. And so the, you can control and regulate the endpoint. And that's already how the law and the, the legal framework is made. And so I think this is just great. We have to stop uh, clashing with each other 
and just work with it, you know. Um, and so, yes, the, 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 at the key, there is um, mainstream market access and their consumer protection. And if you're asking me where crypto is today, is more immature than what people think it is. You know, like a lot of people in crypto already think, you know, it's established or whatever, you know, like NFT. From a technical perspective, they are very, you know, beginning technologies. Um, the ecosystem of blockchain is really struggling in terms of research and development. And I would even say, you know, we have lots of money being invested for not so much result in terms of technological breakthrough. Like since, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum, we didn't have much technological breakthrough. Uh, that's already 10 years period, you know. So it took a while for the cloud to be adopted and mainstream. Um, crypto needs more time and it's this technological breakthrough we need universities and researchers to combine forces and unfortunately every project is diluting the effort on the real topic and they just make copies of each other without you know adding any real value so really there is a lot of work to do here um, with yellow we really build something completely new which is not a blockchain but it's a decentralized trading network and i think you know it's a way to show that it's possible and we don't have to be obsessed you know with this layer one smart contract and bridge uh, that are way overrated today uh, and need a little time for maturity yeah. uh, thank, thank you for the explanation so you know right now we're at consensus 2022 first uh, in-person event for you know, for consensus and uh, one of the few in person for crypto. So, uh, being here at the conference, what is your what your what, what's your main goal for being here, and what is the, your main message to the audience? Uh, for us, for myself, is the first time visiting as a visitor. I wanted to have an idea, uh, meet um, the industry, uh, so meet um, the exhibitors mainly exchange visit card uh, because um, we don't have competitors at this stage you know we have only friends and partners and we, and our competitors are the non crypto world you know that's and and so we need to work together exchanging ideas in 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 a way that we can take the leap forward and and bring i would say legacy system to the blockchain faster as fast as we can so yeah it's it's very nice to you know finally being all concentrated because the last years i mean since i do crypto it's all about you know remote life and and yeah. online calls and yeah you don't really have the opportunity to exchange ideas and go to the bottom of it so that's uh, that was in the initial idea uh, i'd like you know to do more in terms of i would say from a business perspective, but um, networking is uh, pretty effi efficient. Yeah. So, uh, as a uh, you know, more more cl closing up, can you please tell the audience uh, where they can find more information about you, uh, like what's your website, your social profile, and whatever you want to share? So, I think the best is to start with um, the Yellow Project website. So, it's yellow.org. Uh, we also have yellow.com, which is uh, an example of an exchange. Uh, it's a it's a large company with 20 subsidiaries, so we have uh, as well openware.com, um, and our Twitter is yellow as well, so pretty easy to to find us. So much for coming over here. I really appreciate your time, and um, you know we're always looking forward to working with you. So uh, enjoy the rest of the conference, and um, see you next time.